cleaning my reef glass skimmer and I've cleaned this part already. It's all good to go. And then I was working on the hose and I thought, a lot of times people say those hoses gunk up. How do you get them clean? And I've come up with a way to do that. As I was working on it, I thought, ah, I'm gonna show everybody this. Um, the first thing I do is I use one of my magic brushes. <laughs> I'll put a link down in the description to these. Um, I got them on Amazon. And this is the right size to go in the hose. So I've got the hose right here. Um, it's partially cleaned already, it was really dirty. And so I run hot water on the hose to make it flexible. And then I just kind of push this in as far as I can. But you can see it doesn't really go that far. And at the other end of it, you got gunk. So <clears throat> I started thinking about it and I thought, well, when you make this hose pliable by running hot water over it, uh, what I was doing was rolling it in my fingers to loosen the contents and then I would get a glass of hot water and take this pipette, draw up water and then force it into the hose and just keep doing that until all the gunk came out of the other end. But it was really hard work. It took a long time and really it didn't get everything out of the hose. So I came up with a different method and it's a fork. So I'm going to turn the tap on. Hot water. I, I run the hose under it. It's pretty hot so I'm going to try and keep my hands out of it. So the idea is to get it as hot as you possibly can. So I'm just running the hose under it, getting it pliable, squeezing it a little bit to loosen the crud that's in there. Go all the way to the end. Okay, so then I take the fork and I put the, the hose between two times in the fork. And then I turn it sideways like this, put it under the tap, and pull on the hose. So I'm just carrying on, just I'm going over what I did before. Because I got almost done and I want to just demonstrate what happens. So the hose gets stretchy and the gunk builds up behind the fork. You can see that little black area. That is the gunk that the fork is pushing down. Just gonna keep doing this. Now this part had been over already and uh, more stuff came out. Now all of this was up in the hose and it's now down here. I'm gonna keep doing it. I'm pulling on the hose. You can see the stuff moving down. Now bear in mind the hose is cooling, so it's getting harder, but watch this. Yeah, that's all the stuff that's in the hose. And uh, it's pretty impressive that it's this easy to clean it. So then I just basically have what's in the end here, and I'll just run the fork on the other side of the fitting, and just run it like that. So you get this giant sausage of crud that used to be in the hose, and look at the hose. It's clean. So I don't know if this will help anybody, but you could apply this to any type of hose that does get crud in it, provided that it can withstand being run under hot water, which most of them can these days. And I'm going to say if you got a really big hose, like, well, not really big, like maybe half an inch, um, a fork like this obviously isn't going to do the trick. Get a bigger fork. Get a carving fork or, or a, a, a larger serving fork, like uh, one of those two-prong forks. If you hold it on the right angle, you can drag your hose through there and it'll clean up nicely. Thank you for watching and I hope this helps somebody. And as a reward for staying right till the end, here's just a little bit of eye candy.